Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla takes step towards FSD beta in Europe, with Ada's test operator job openings. Tesla ramps 4680 cell production at Giga Nevada. Tesla urges Mississippians to fight harmful bill that bans direct auto sales in the state. And, Tesla releases new software update with auto steering wheel heat and sentry mode lighting. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Elon Musk has been open about the idea that Tesla's valuation in the future would likely rely on whether the company could perfect its full self-driving and autopilot technology or not. With this in mind, the rollout of FSD beta and other critical functions to numerous areas across the globe is crucial. Last March, Elon Musk estimated on Twitter that FSD beta would likely be available for Europe's left-hand drive markets around summer 2022, and right-hand drive markets should follow a few months later. Musk emphasized that his estimates for FSD beta's release in Europe would depend on regulatory approval. Musk's estimate turned out to be inaccurate, and until today, FSD beta access is only available in North America. As per job listings in Tesla's careers pages, however, it seems that the company is laying the foundations for the rollout of advanced driver assist systems in Europe. This was hinted at by Ada's test operator job openings in Switzerland, Finland, and Denmark. Tesla specifically mentions its work toward full self-driving in its job listings descriptions. We are looking for a highly motivated individual to accelerate our vehicle level testing for all current and future autopilot features on the path to full self-driving. The ADA's test operator will be responsible to identify improvements and regressions across software iterations, Tesla wrote. Moving to the next update, Tesla ramps 4680 cell production at Giga Nevada. Tesla has officially announced its expected new battery and semi-factories in northern Nevada, along with $3.6 billion in investment to make them happen. But are these actually new factories or simply the completion of Gigafactory Nevada to its originally planned size? We recently reported on the Nevada governor hinting at plans for Tesla's new factory, which were expected to be officially unveiled soon. Tesla has now put up a blog post describing its progress with its previous investments in Nevada and the plans for this new investment. Tesla says that it has already spent $6.2 billion in Nevada and hired 11,000 employees while creating 17,000 local construction jobs building out its gigafactory there and that the factory has produced 7.3 billion battery cells, 1.5 million battery packs, 3.6 million drive units, and 1 million energy modules. These numbers are higher than Tesla's original 2014 plan, which was to spend $3.5 billion on a factory to produce 35 gigawatt hour of batteries annually, which would then hire 6,500 employees. Since then, the EV market has expanded rapidly, which means 35 gigawatt hour is still not enough to fulfill global demand for Tesla's EVs. Now, Tesla said the following. We will be investing over $3.6 billion more to continue growing Gigafactory Nevada, adding 3,000 new team members and two new factories, a 100 gigawatt hour 4680 cell factory, with capacity to produce enough batteries for 2 million light-duty vehicles annually, as well as our first high-volume semi-factory. Tesla's announcement is unclear about whether these factories will still be on the same property as its current Gigafactory, which is still about 60% complete, when comparing renders to the current status of the building. Judging by the new render, these new factories may be in the same building, Compared to the existing building, which has an L-shape, and the original and new renders of the building, filling out, that L-shape would complete the building to look more like the renders. The announcement mentions that some of the $3.6 billion will be spent to continue growing the Gigafactory, but also build two new factories. Previously, Electrek reported that Tesla was building a production line for the Tesla Semi in a new building near Gigafactory Nevada, so we're not sure if it's changing plans and will bring all this production under the same roof or continue expanding that new building nearby. 
The new render shows assembled Tesla semis coming off the line on the left side of the building, which could suggest their assembly will be done under the same roof, or maybe it's just a render. Moving to the next update, Tesla urges Mississippians to fight harmful bill that bans direct auto sales in the state. Tesla is urging Mississippians to fight against a malicious bill that bans direct auto sales in the state. This bill will deprive local residents of the opportunity to freely purchase and service some cars, including those of Tesla, in their home state. The detrimental House Bill 401, which would limit Tesla's growth opportunities in Mississippi and block direct sales of all automakers, is currently being considered by the state legislature. Therefore, the company is urging its customers to contact the state senator and the lieutenant governor and tell them to vote no on HB 401. Tesla sent an email message to its customers and posted it on the Tesla Engage platform. If this bill passes, Tesla will not be able to open any additional locations in Mississippi to serve its customers, and as a result, many local residents will be forced to travel out of state to buy the best-selling electric vehicles in the country. This will harm both current and future customers of the company, forcing them to either choose other automakers' vehicles that are sold through dealerships often at high markups, or to accept the additional artificial hardships associated with buying and owning Tesla vehicles in the state. The company also emphasized that Mississippi should be focused on increasing income and jobs in the state, not on suppressing competition and limiting the ability of Mississippians to decide how and where they buy cars. Moving to the last update, Tesla releases new software update with auto steering wheel heat and sentry mode lighting. Tesla has started to release a new software update to its fleet of customer vehicles with two new features, which includes auto steering wheel heat and sentry mode lighting. The automaker writes the following in the release notes of the new 2023.2.0.5 software update about the new auto steering wheel heat feature. Set your steering wheel heater to regulate its temperature automatically based on the climate control set temperature. To access steering wheel heating controls, tap the temperature settings to bring up the climate control panel. Obviously, this only applies to Tesla vehicles with heated steering wheels. With the new software update, Tesla is also making a significant addition to sentry mode. Tesla's sentry mode is an integrated surveillance system inside Tesla's vehicles. Using the autopilot cameras around the car, it has been game-changing when it comes to vandalizing parked cars. It builds on Tesla Cam, an integrated dashcam system. On several occasions, sentry mode videos went viral, and the vandals turned themselves in after the online pressure. In other cases, it helped police with video evidence to help them identify and find the vandals. But it has also been capturing footage of strange events around Tesla vehicles and impressive moments showcasing the performance of Tesla's vehicles. Tesla has also been building on the feature to release new ones most recently, a new live camera view feature. On top of filming what is happening around the car, Sentry Mode is also capable of detecting potential threats and launches an alarm to deter those potential threats. Now with the new software update, Tesla is adding a pulse of the headlights to the system. When a threat is detected, Sentry Mode will softly pulse the headlights to indicate that your vehicle is recording video. The pulsing stops after 60 seconds, or when the vehicle is unlocked, Tesla wrote. The new software update is now started to roll out in Tesla's customer fleet, but it can take a few days to even a few weeks for it to reach the entire fleet. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.